Today we are working on a 2012 Ram 1500 that stopped driving and had to be towed to our shop. According to the customer, the truck just wouldn't go. So when I started the truck and tried driving it in the shop, I felt strong resistance like someone was pushing the brakes. So if this is what you're experiencing, this video is for you. First thing I did, I left it in neutral and put it on the lift to raise the wheels off the ground and tried spinning them by hand. All the wheels were completely locked up, like someone had their foot on the brake pedal. So I tried to loosen the master cylinder nuts, moving it away from the brake booster. And the wheels loosened up. Another way to check it, remove the check valve from the brake booster to let the vacuum escape and see if the wheels start turning. And they did, which told me that the brake booster was applying pressure to the master cylinder even when the brake pedal was not applied. By the way, I have a separate video on how brakes work in a car, so if any part of this video doesn't make sense, make sure to check it out. So next step, replace the brake booster. This is a rather simple job. Take the master cylinder nuts completely off and move the master cylinder out of the way. Most of the time you don't have to disconnect the brake lines. They can handle slight bending as you're moving the master cylinder around. On the other side of the firewall, the brake booster is attached to the brake pedal and bolted to the firewall with four nuts. Remove the clip and slide the push rod off of it. And take off the nuts. And that should be enough to remove the brake booster. If the space in your car or truck is limited, you may have to remove adjacent pieces like engine cover in my case and the battery. Next, transfer parts like this rubber boot from the old brake booster to the new one and reverse the removal procedure. Remove the old check valve from the hose, install the brake booster in the vehicle, Install the push rod on the brake pedal and the clip. Install the four mounting nuts. Hook up the vacuum hose to the check valve. Install the master cylinder. In my case, I had to remove the battery and the engine cover to clear the brake booster out of there. Start up the engine and push the brake pedal several times to make sure the new brake booster doesn't lock up the wheels like the old one did. Here you can see me putting it in drive and letting the wheels spin as I am pushing and releasing the brake pedal. And seems like the issue is fixed. Try it one more time by hand and we're good to go. If this video was helpful, please give it a thumbs up, share your experience and give feedback in the comments section below. Links to the products you saw in this video will be in the description. Thank you for watching, good luck and take care.